Hi and welcome to Bike Nord. My name is Jelvan. Today I will actually talk about the camshaft kit from a company called Fueling uh, in the States and uh, they are developing a lot of uh, performance products for twin cams, Milwaukee 8, engines, Harley Davidson. And uh, the nice thing with fueling is that they uh, actually pack it in a kit so you can buy all what you need as one uh, part number. So it's very easy to buy everything in one box and in the, that box you have everything you need. So today I will unbox the Fueling 472 kit and this camshaft kit is for 114 and 117 Milwaukee 8 engines. So let's look what's inside the box. So it says on the front uh, race series camshaft kit for oil cooled engines. You can have this for water cooled as well. And uh, this is with a 472 Reaper cam. Um, and everything is included in the kit. This is a bolt in cam, so you don't do, need to do anything with the top end of the engine. But I will show you later that you actually need to lift the, some parts of the top end uh, because you have solid push rods and they are also fixed in length. So uh, that's why you need to to lift the, the top end of the engine. It's not like the SNS uh, adjustable push rods. Then you can cut uh, the um, the push rod, the stock push rods, and uh, exchange them with uh, adjustable push rods for an SNS. Uh, fueling has those too, but uh, fueling. Uh, normally want you to use fixed uh, push rods and um, we have gone uh, done a lot of uh, engine work with uh, adjustable push, rod, push rods and that has not been any problem but if you have a fixed push rod uh, you will notice the difference uh, when we came down to further down in the box to see how they look like but here is the box and this is what you get in the box. Uh, there is a set of all um, gaskets and uh, O-rings uh, that you need to do this um, work on the bike. So they are from Cometic and uh, they have uh, really good products. Uh, yeah, in the top here, here is a lot of uh, uh, refrigerator magnets with fueling stuff on it, stickers that you really need to, uh, yeah, some other advertising. There is a complete uh, instruction how to change everything, the cam, the cam plate, the oil pump and the push rods. Everything is here that you need to know. Uh, the rest you find on the internet, of course, uh, YouTube or other sources. Uh, there is a catalog that shows you uh, some uh, fueling products. You can check that out as well. So let's start with the smallest piece. That's actually the cam bearing. You always change the cam bearing in the crankcase. Uh, to a better one than stock. Stock has um, less rolls in the cam bearing and the race cam bearings has more uh, uh, rolls. So this is the Timken that you get or Q, the Timken you get together in the package. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, it's a lot of smaller um, uh, rollers in that, so that's what you need. So you need a special tool from Jim's, uh, you can see that up here, uh, a video about that tool, because that you need to extract the old stock uh, cam bearing and to uh, install the new cam bearing uh, in the crankcase. This is important to have. 
then we have the, the heart in this kit that's the, the oil pump and I choose the, the more ad most advanced oil pump that they had uh, in, uh, in the kit because they have a HP plus and this is the race oil pump and this should be the most advanced oil pump actually because it's sorry about that it's uh, in stronger aluminium and uh, it has uh, a lot of uh, uh, new features that the uh, stock holidays and oil pumps does not have even if they have changed their oil pumps in 2017 to 2020 four or five times I think it's four uh, they are still not where uh, fueling is today. So the fueling oil pump uh, has, uh, gives you a lot of better uh, oil pressure, PSI. Uh, it gives you a cooler engine. Uh, it gives you, uh, as I read here, I don't know all the features, but I have them here. It gives you 15 to 25 degree cooler engine temperatures. It gives you 15 to 30 degree cooler oil temperature. It gives you 10 to 30 more PSI of oil pressure into your engine. As you uh, understand, you, when you increase the oil pressure, you also need to put a fueling oil vented dipstick to the engine as well. And that's a really good feature to have. I already had it on my bike and it makes a big difference on the the issues that you have with uh, too much oil into back into the engine through the air filter. <clears throat> As you understand when you get a much higher pressure on the PSI you will get more pressure in the engine and then that's why it's important also to vent the engine. You can do that with a vented oil dipstick from fueling. Uh, you can see that in a video over here. Uh, how that works. Um, it's in Swedish, so you have a good opportunity to learn Swedish as well. Uh, okay, and um, uh, what do we more need? Yeah, we need um, the cam plate, of course, with a bigger oil pump. Uh, we want to uh, make that oil to travel solid in a in a new um, in a new template with all these oil channels that is uh, designed to match the oil pump uh, and everything and uh, as you see there is no bushing uh, in the plate for the for the cam uh, and um, uh, that's because this is a much higher quality of uh, billet aluminium. So this is the best you can get actually. There is the HP Plus that is uh, a little bit less higher quality in the aluminium. This is the race, but uh, you can go with any, any version if you want. Uh, I want to go with the best because I want to put this stuff into my CVO 117 Milwaukee 8 so um, uh, that's uh, actually why I'd go with a, with, a, with a race version and uh, you got a lot of uh, lube to lube everything uh, when you install this part uh, then we have the, the cam itself, uh, a lot of stickers, installation, manuals as well uh, for that. Uh, it's a lot of paperwork, but uh, yeah, this is maybe not so much to see. It's a traditional Milwaukee 8 cam and um, it's uh, nicely wrapped in uh, paper 
and uh, this is how it look and it, like this there we have the cam in the cam plate so um, that you have in the package as well um, what do we more have in the kit um, let's see more stickers and um, information etc but here you have the the hydraulic roller lifters this you soak or pump up with oil before installation this is actually a race version of this and this is what you need to uh, get your engine working together with the cam and this is high performance products as well the best you can get uh, and of course they are from fueling and you got four of those of course and uh, there we have it the hydraulic lifters and then ah here we have the push rods this is solid push rods for fueling uh, I will take them out to show you the difference if you have seen stuck push rods you can see the difference in these push rods they are really really heavy duty full length what you need uh, for your uh, for a bike in this kit they are not adjustables and they are massive and this is looking really really great uh, you can feel the, the, the quality of these products and uh, I'm very impressed of what uh, the guys at Fueling are doing uh, they are doing really really good stuff so this is the push rod uh, for this uh, setup and you get uh, of course four of those in the package and don't uh, yeah, you get four of them in this package and don't push them in the kitchen drawer so your wife will mix them up with uh, the Chinese chopsticks because it's not so there we have the push rods uh, really massive uh, good looking and here uh, we have some more stuff some o-ring, some loctite uh, some more lubrication uh, here we got uh, the set screws rock ground studs and nuts uh, here you have some really nice uh, great Uh, nuts for your uh, setup. This is for the uh, for the cam and the crankcase uh, uh, nuts, and uh, you always have to change those together with uh, with um, flats. So uh, so here we got everything you actually need to make this uh, successful installation so there was a little box with the small parts and here we got it yeah now you have it uh, all of the parts uh, actually you don't need this uh, part or this kit of uh, endurance beehive spring kit uh, this kit is uh, optional uh, you don't need it in your CVO or your 114 or 117 because it's bolting cam and you don't need to have stronger uh, springs in the top end and what you have but I choose uh, to go with the recommendations from fueling because they recommend me to put the endurance beehive spring kit inside the engine because I had to lift the top end anyway uh, because I have uh, rigid or fixed uh, push rods so uh, when I do that I can actually go 
uh, over the top end and change uh, the valve sets and uh, the springs as well. So in this beehive kit you have uh, the chimps, you have uh, the valve springs to lock uh, the nuts, uh, you have the uh, all what you need and of course the springs to make this change in the top end. And uh, why fueling uh, recommend me to change to this uh, spring kit uh, instead of go with stock? That's because they say even if you don't need it because of the lift, uh, it will give you a smoother and a more soundless engine. So the top end will sound a little bit less. So with stronger springs you will have a smoother ride when it comes, comes to the sound of uh, the engine. So uh, I like my CVU to be a little bit smooth less. I want it to be a little bit... I want to have a little bit of the race feeling but at the same time I want to keep the, the feeling of a touring bike. So I don't want to have a too noisy engine uh, that disturbs my ride. So that's why I choose to go with a 1107 spring kit together with the camshaft kit. Just to make the engine a little bit less noisy. So uh, with that said, uh, I really thank you everyone to check in and uh, and uh, look at this uh, video and uh, if you like it please subscribe and if you want to see more of this type of content hit the notification bell if you want to see other type of content please let us know and i will try to give you exactly what you want to see so uh, hopefully we will put all this stuff in the CVU over here and uh, I hopefully will give you a chance to see that movie when you do the installation of the Camshaft kit together with the Beehive Spring Kit. So until then, have a really, really nice day and uh, see you in the next one. Bye!